Hello there, and welcome to Dr. T for today, June the 27th. Today we are starting with stage one, which is, of course, what we always do. Uh, it has 43,000 hit points, land where I landed, let your tanks go to where I flared, and then win by not barraging the crap out of it like I do, but hey, you know, you get the idea. Moving to stage two. Stage two has 85,000 hit points, which I landed down by the statue just so that I could blow up the statue. By all means, don't actually do that. Land in the very top left-hand corner, flare onto the uh, shock launcher, and go in, take it out. If you can, stun the flamethrower. If it hits your troops, you know, you can hit them both, whatever. As long as the, the shock launcher goes down, really that's the important part. And then up the left hand corner, I guess. Go to, uh, go up to the left hand corner. Mm, making English good. And from there, you're safe. You will basically be able to work down the HQ. I'm gonna actually throw a few rounds of Zookas, or my Zookas, which are really critters and get a nice easy win because none of the sniper towers can do anything and then we're going to move on to stage three stage three has a hundred and thirteen thousand hit points so a bit of a jump but not as big as we're used to seeing uh it's still kind of you know a little on the low side which is nice you need that every once in a while makes you appreciate it you know all right so land on the right hand side go up grab some free gbe out of obviously the boxes and bunkers and whatnot and machine guns that I also count. Um, no, I threw critters because I was just like not thinking. It's a force of habit when I see something with zero health to just toss the critters. So um, I, I apologize but really in the grand scheme of things it took out a rocket launcher and a boom cannon. A barrage would have done the exact same thing. Um, and so obviously also the rocket launcher, not a lot of hit points, you should be okay. If you flare up against the very top, you should take out the one remaining rocket launcher that could actually have range on you, and then start shooting from your save point out of range of the flamethrower, and enjoy some quick kill and loot. Moving on to stage four, which today is making up for the not massive jump of stage three. Stage four actually takes us all the way to 342,000 hit points on the HQ. And uh, there is a boom cannon back there. You don't have to worry about it. It's out of range. It only has 7,000 hit points if you were inclined to blow it up. I don't know. Um, but I, I tossed an artillery on those two mines. By all means, you can do a barrage, weaken the machine gun a little bit, and kind of get everything. I just didn't... Uh, my barrage would have wiped out the machine gun, and I didn't want to wipe it out with my barrage, if that makes sense. So I, I wanted to take it out with, like, my actual troops. And then... Uh, I basically just let the troops move in. You want to take out that sniper tower because it is the last thing, well, second last thing, because obviously the rocket launcher that you can see rocket launching on me also has range. I threw some heals. You don't have to do this. As a matter of fact, I suggest against doing this because that's like an extra 14 energy or something that you could spend on blowing things up. So... Take out the rocket launcher, again, could have done this with a barrage, um, and taken out both of the statues, but I, I went with the artillery just because. And then, as you can see, it's nice and safe. Now, I would definitely, definitely suggest bringing at least a boatload of Zookas for this attack, because once you've cleared it out to this point, you can land those Zookas and there's nothing that's going to hit the Zookas either. They will be out of range of the Boom Cannon as well, as long as you put it over on the right-hand side, kind of roughly where you've got your tanks. So, hopefully that'll get you through Stage 4, which will bring you to Stage 5, which is, is, is where things kind of start going crazy. 217,000 hit points on the HQ, so it drops it back down, it makes it nice and easy. And this field of free box GBE 
just waiting for you, which is great. So that rocket launch, or sorry, that boom cannon that I am exploding right there has give or take 11,000 hit points. Uh, there are some shock launchers floating around on the base, uh, just to the left of the HQ is one of them. Uh, they have around 18,000 HP, give or take. Um, so, basically, after your troops get all the free boxes destroyed and kill a few of the defenses, I grouped them up all nicely in the middle, and then I rode them right through and dropped them smack dab in the middle between the shock launcher and the sniper tower and the reason for this is um, I want to kill both of those things well okay really I just want to kill the shock launcher that's that's the big one but killing the sniper tower is kind of handy too so from here let your tanks kind of do what your tanks do and then once they're done taking out the shock launcher flare yourself up into the top corner throw down some smokes just so that you know, things aren't pestering you while you're trying to move around. And the added bonus of this is from the artillery barrage, whatever you threw to take out the boom cannon up there, um, the, the damaged buildings are going to be incredibly weakened, so they're going to be really quick to go down. And then also, they're going to attract the, I guess... A gr like they're gonna they're gonna be attacked first they're gonna attract the attention of your ladies because they're broken I don't know so once you've cleared away the majority of the stuff uh, there will be one sniper tower I would suggest throwing a flare onto it to take it out because it is the last defense that actually has range on you up here in the corner and then you can just sit up here and cruise to a nice easy win with nothing shooting at you and that will bring us to stage six. 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 That's it. Strong Connery is going to do the rest of this. Stage six has 217,000 hit points also. All right. Sorry. My Sean Connery sucks. So uh, 217,000 hit points on the HQ for stage six, which is the exact same that was on stage five, which is... Like I say, this is where things got crazy. Um, which is cool, especially if you plan on trying to do, like, a warrior attack. I'd imagine, like, 217 is really low. It'd be really quick to go through and really easy, in theory. I'm not the greatest with the warrior attackings and the whatnot, so, you know, I'm not... I'm not going to say, oh yeah, that'd be easy, and then find out. No, no, no. Because of the layout of all those machine guns and flamethrowers, it's the worst attack ever. Go away. So, uh, shock launchers on this level, which you can obviously see are kind of picking on my poor tanks there, or at least one of them is. Uh, the shock launchers have 18,000 hit points each. And then the boom cannons, of which you have seen me blowing up all over the place, have around 11,000... Uh, hit points, give or take. So, do do what you will to the the various things, but make sure you take out the boom cannons right beside the HQ because they have range over the entire thing and you're not going to be able to get your tanks in there into a safe spot without them getting blown up. Also, there's a boom mine and yeah, I just ran over it. Make sure you take out that freaking boom mine with freaking critters because... Um, I was I was just like trying to figure out where to put things and how to save energy and blah 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 and like straight up it took that poor tank from almost full to dead like it really it had it had a sliver but I'm gonna count it as dead because it poofed into smoke like five seconds later from a machine gun of all things. So, uh, make sure that you clear out the boom mines at this level because they are quite nasty and you, you just, you don't want to have to, you know, replenish troops like some people. Awkward. Huh. And we'll group up and finish off the, the stage six and move on to stage seven, which... 
kind of starts to correct, brings brings normal normalcy, normality. We'll make up some words. Normalness to the universe with 370,000 hit points on the HQ, 16,000 hit points on each of the boom cannons, and 18.5k on each of the shock launchers. And I tell you what, I am so glad that I started upgrading my artillery and barrage because I'm already feeling the difference uh, just from like those two uh, shock launchers just, just dropping and having the AoE spread on each of them and doing the extra damages and whatnot. I, it, wow, it makes a difference. Um, <laughs> anyone who gets a new armory, immediately upgrade your barrage and artillery if that wasn't already like everyone did it and was just like, no, you're an idiot for s leaving stupid GBE attack things. You're dead. Uh, Anyways, uh, I basically went up the right-hand side, and I realized there is still a shock launcher in the back that could have range, and, well, and do straight up does have range, so I had to clear it out, and then I, w I was just, I was so close on so many buildings, I couldn't help myself. I knew, I know I shouldn't have thrown the, the artillery there and I know it really doesn't do anything good for me but I, I still couldn't help myself I just I had to do it uh, and you know what if it cost me tanks it cost me tanks it was hashtag worth it I don't I don't even care <laughs> all right uh, so basically once you clear up a little bit of space on the right hand side everything's nicely grouped together throw some extra heals to help your medics and from there bomb the crap out of the headquarters and you will get yourself a win Hopefully with fewer losses than myself, but, you know, I make no promises. Anyways, thank you very much for watching, guys. Hopefully this has been helpful, entertaining, and most importantly, hopefully you have yourselves a fantastic day. See you guys tomorrow.